are sharing about the enabling grace. We are sharing about the enabling grace. Grace. I'm going to share in 45 minutes. I ask the Holy Spirit to enable me. And we use 15 minutes to pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to get your Bible. I want you to get your book. But as we are sharing, be sensitive in the spirit. Because this is not a, a service of burial. It's not a service of Sorry. We are in a spiritual service. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want you to be sensitive. I want you to be open. I want you to be someone who is seeing. Elisha tells my pardon. Elijah tells Elisha that if you see me, Amen. So your eyes are looking at me. There is a difference between looking and seeing. Now you are looking at me. Or you are looking at me. Amen. Amen. But seeing it is spiritual. The eyes of your heart. They have to see what the Lord is doing in your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is together with us. And he is taking us somewhere great. In the name of Jesus. So because of time, let's run We are looking at, about the enabling grace. I began by saying that the word grace today many people interpret it in different ways some people put things that are not it Amen. Amen. So, let's run and help those who are not here the grace of the Lord what is the grace of God to you he's writing right we got like two definitions saying the grace of God is the divine ability that enables us to do things that are beyond our strength, that is beyond our understanding, that is beyond our knowledge, that is beyond education, that is beyond where we come from. Praise the Lord. Let me repeat. I said it's the divine ability that enables us to do things that is beyond our strength, that is beyond our understanding, that is beyond our education, that is beyond our age. Praise the Lord. What the Lord is going to you make you use is not going to use you because your granny you done, did them. Amen. Amen. But he's going to make you because his grace is upon your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Touch your neighbor and tell him that the ability, the ability of the Lord is going to enable you so that you be what your father's neighbor Amen. Praise the Lord. He's going to enable you to reach where your house has never reached. One day, my father heard that I, I am in Malawi. The brother said that he went to Malawi. He said it has never happened in our house. I wanted to be a reverend in the 60s but he failed Amen. Amen. when I came back I went there to Reza I told him that I have something that joined me that wasn't in you that wasn't in the religion that thing that joined me is what is taking you while you stopped praise the Lord one day in 2008 I was graduating in Bible school so my mother came she came from Nakaseke with my older sister praise the Lord then they saw the company of people I was with Amen. all the Lord of people I was with we went somewhere to the party then the mother said why are you so different from your brother even your, your friends are being understood. I answered. Mommy, I had something that joined me that wasn't in Catholic. Now even you, you are not alone in the journey. You have another life that is waiting in you. You have the ability upon you. Tell your neighbor that you are going to be able to do whatever God planned. You are next someone who is not speaking. But tell him the, the anointing that makes people speak is you here. You get a voice out of you. You are next someone who is believing on the miracle of speaking. Amen. 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 Tell him that God is going to enable you what you cannot do. Praise Amen. So the grace is the ability. 2023. That our church, no matter where we pray from, but when we hide in the grace, we 
are going to do beyond the understanding of people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The temple that is being built in our own power, it cannot be able to be built. In our own power, it's so great. We don't have its money. But there is that grace. There is ability that is having the material. It is carrying money. And God is going to use you because it's God's ability. Divine ability. He doesn't make you do what you can do. Let me tell you this. All things that you can do, God doesn't have any glory in them. That when you bathe, that is glorified. If you mingle a portion that is glorified, Amen. You who grew from the other side, by the time you sit at the meeting when you are having a meeting, then God is glorified. When they take your wedding at Serena, then your brothers say, Oh, they will speak your own tongue. But when they speak it, worshiping your God, I'm speaking to the people who are not in the church. We have two kinds of people. We have and non believing believers. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I say in the church there are two kinds of people. They are believers. They believe Jesus. But they do not believe that he will work. So those are not the people that I want. I want the believing believers. That God is going to enable me to do what I cannot do. So the grace is the ability. Amen. It enables me. What I cannot do and I be able to do this. And when I am able to do this, I say God may you be good. Because, because I'm not the one doing them. One day it will come to pass when this cathedral this cathedral we are sitting in it and I'm excited that people that I'm going to you are not believing when we are sitting in it as we watch to God and there is a place for eating pork when we shall just rest from there we are not fasting no it's not of chest cutting out when you to eat pork and you pull it now you who doesn't rejoice in it you know, for us we did it and we cook in it because of the ability of the divine ability we are going to go there in the name of Jesus and you the member of this church I expect you to be with that image in your, in your home I expect you to be with this in your house house. every time you look Saying that you come to pass when I'm sitting in this temple. Even if you chase me out, I will come and sit in it. Even if we send you to sit in it, I will come back and raise hands from there. You have to be with this picture in your house when you put it there already. Telling those media people, get me that picture. Give it to me on the phone. You go and make it and you put it there. Every morning you declare, whilst God is alive, it will come to pass. God, when I'm in that glory, you will understand me whether you know that there is power that is confessing. Amen. Amen. We are going to be into that temple. You is planning to die. Go away from us. We do not have time to bury because there is no more fear. There are just the places of getting up in God. I'm speaking to hard people. That grace is ability that enables us. Amen. Amen. To do things that are beyond our understanding. How are you going to build it? Pastor, we do not have a man. Even I've not yet got to What you can do, you do not You'll be able to do it. But God is going to make you one day to give you 50 million when it's just demanding you to be faithful. It's demanding you to be faithful. Are you getting what I'm saying? Get that picture. Put it in your house. Make it your profile picture. Someone says, which picture? He says, it's the temple 
of the Lord. Where, where are we going to praise him from? In the name of Jesus. If you get to know that, praise you will clap for him. Love for Jesus. Point number two. We say the grace of God. It's the Holy Spirit in us that enables us. The Holy Spirit in us. Amen. Amen. What you call the thing that enables you is the grace of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I want us to run very fast. We look at the different kinds of grace. How many of you are following Even me? Even if you got tired, may the Lord give you grace. In the name of Jesus. We will in the morning. I want to establish it. There is a first kind of grace. They call it a general grace. General grace. This grace, it is hovering upon this world. It is giving everyone a breath that is breathing. Time ago, when the COVID was attacking the world, it is when we had people that buy oxygen, millions and millions. And after they die, but there is a grace. Amina. Amen. It gives the sorcerer. It gives the murderer. Amina. Amen. It gives everyone the general grace. When you read Isaiah 54 verse 8, Isaiah 54 verse 8, God swore that as the flood of no that will not come back, that grace will not go away from us. That's why we find someone who is evil, doing evil things, saying that even God is not there. But when he's having oxygen, when even their children are alive, then you say, well, God, why doesn't this one die? Because he swore upon that. Amen. And Psalms 138 verse 2. Psalms 138 verse 2. The Bible says that he glorified his word above his name. And the word that he swore, he never regret. He said it will never leave you. Amen. But that grace was there. And it is here. But he never brought back people to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It never brought people to fear God. People are rejoicing in it. Someone marries ten women. Then says that it's God who has given me. Then someone take away others. Then they just uh, take the But when God is in that place, it doesn't bring back people to move with him. I'm getting what I'm saying. But he, remember, he never regret about his wife. He said it will never leave. I'm getting what I'm saying. And Jeremiah 1 says, 1 that he looks after his word to fulfill it. That's why everyone who shares about it, Jesus taught in Matthew chapter 5, from verse 43. Matthew 5.43 up to 45 saying that even a saucer even a one, the rain rain even it shines that is the general grace. Catholic is found um, there. The seventh day is found Mama there. Mari. Mama Finn is there. Yena. Everyone is there. And all, all of us pull that is the one that gives all the creation. It commands him to give us oxygen. Because what we breathe, it breathes is from the deepest. It is hovering upon the It is the one taking that lake not to go beyond. Amen. It is holding those stones in mountains. It is holding that atmosphere. That is the, the, the grace that negotiates are about the creation. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you are getting what I'm saying? That general grace. But you find the people, good people. But when they are not the children of God. So God said, I created these people to connect with them. How am I going to do? Then he sent the, the grace number two. The saving grace. The saving grace. Ephesians 2 8. Let's read there. Ephesians 2 8. And Titus 2 11. Back up to 14. The grace number 2. They call it the saving grace. Listen to this grace. It has a character. The character of the saving grace. It doesn't discriminate. Even if he finds you drunkard, you say, but God is not there. It finds you and cancels you. Then it changes you. It's only people in shrines and God says, it's people in bars and change. It's only people like Paul, the mother. Amen. Then Paul got saved. We are in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. Kubanga mwalo kukaluachisa, luwa kukiriza. Sote kuwava jemuli, 
Chechilabo cha katonda. Duka ni mutite sura bilo lukumi na ulumu. Titus 2.11. The saving grace. Ichi sechi lukola. We are in Titus 2.11. Kubanga ichi sacha katonda chila vise. Ila chile etela bantu vona oblokos. Mm. Nga chitubu ulirila okugana nga obutati ya katonda. No kwe gombo kwa mwusi. Mm. Tio ketu berenga abalamu mumire mbeja kakano. Mkwe gendereza nobutu kilivu no kutia katonda. Mkama favors. Praise our Lord. Kati uliriza. Listen. Echi sacha katonda chino. The grace chino. of God. This grace of God. Shobwe chida vika. When it appears. It's not like the first Chisa one. Chisa ngo na kubo butayimbwa. It finds this brother killing people. Nga kubo butayimbwa. When he's killing Aba people. Aba amasimu. He's stealing phones. Nga unumusajia mulokoli. This is a, a born again. Kato itafaya. Don't call upon fire. Amina. Amen. Nga kuwa tabakazi kuchalo. But when he's raping women. Nga mutamivu. When he's drunkard. Chimusangeyo. He finds him there. Kasita chimutu kako majiti. As long as it reaches upon him. Chita andiko muku miliza. He starts convicting him. Amina. Amen. Nga chimu gamba katiri. Tell him that leave that. Ani ya kugambo lekela ukunyo mwenye. Who told you to stop drinking alcohol? Bo walokoka. When you got saved. Nota niko kuli okuburi liwa. He started feeling that cancer started seeing it in secret. How many of you are like that? Don't want to go back to the bar. But even this way, God God said, said, you feel something passing in you. That don't go back. The Bible says that when it appears, the first one, it brings salvation. It saves you from sin. Number two, it starts teaching you, tells you that now from now you are supposed to be like those ones. You should not take a hold. You should not lie. Amen. Amen. When no one is telling you, we asked in the morning how many of you used to drink alcohol? The angels sit in the church. They came from the How many of you took, were taking alcohol? How many of you used to club? Hallelujah. How many of you were thieves? That one is hard. Someone will go from you. How many of you used to broke pipes? The Lord is good. Hallelujah. This is the point. We had bad habits. Amen. Me when I got saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going towards to Easter. I say, let me go and I clap for the last time. Amen. Amen. But in the church where I was, no one was knowing me. No one knew that I got saved. But I started fearing to go into this course. Inside I felt something telling me that don't go back. That's what the Bible says that starts coming to you. Now the doctrine that tells you that what you got said when you are in grace, you Start doing everything you want. That is a wrong doctrine. Because the grace, when you get it, it calls you away from sin. Amen. Amen. It tells you we are not of there. For us, we came to save you. We came to take you out from evil. Amen. Amen. It tells people you have to be holy. You have to resemble God. Then you see the one who hasn't wanted to go to church. You start loving him. The one who didn't want to go to church. The one who used to go to church. You come and sit there and keep quiet. Inside, there you hide yourself where you come from. And some of you are still hiding yourself. I don't blame you. There was a season. You end up and confess to him. But you come to church. Amen. The saving grace. It cancels us from sin. That is the grace number two. Do like this. Not political. Number two. Amen. So let's go into the theme you are sharing. The grace number three. The grace number three. The kind of grace number three where we are going to move in and pray is what we call the enabling grace. Amen. The, the enabling grace. This grace is so powerful. I was telling people in the morning and even Pastor Ezra joined me that disco and, and beer we used to take and when and you see that beer doesn't so you are holy. God down for holy ones. There you go. Amen. How many of you are like that? Some of you, like us, when you see that you have little money for beer, you first go to that one. 
Let me first take this one. Amen. 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 You are steady. <laughs> Amen. But when the grace came, I started feeling that I'm not supposed to take it. So my own power, I could not. Then grace. she said, she supposes Amen. Amen. Yes, you have Praise so Jesus. So we are going to learn a few things because I want us to pray. Listen to me, who is praying. We looked at these things. This enabling grace, it has things it does in our lives. These are the things. I want you to pray for. You know, sins, you Wherever know. you depend to see Number one, the chisoka, the chisoka, the chisoka. what the grace does, the first Chitu one, it enables us to hate sin. What did I say? It enables us to, say, to hate evil and also leaving it completely. As a Muslim man doesn't come close to poke, even disgrace when it comes to you, you start. He gives you the ability and you hate sin. Now, child of God, if you feel the doctrine telling you that even if you see it as long as you are in grace, your, your soul is already rescued. I'm asking for a bottle of water. Now they teach like this. Amen. Amen. As you see this bottle, they say that the, the, your, your spirit is like this. Water. And you see this. Even your, your spirit is sealed in Christ. Now, even if it falls down, even if it goes into adultery, even if it does everything, your spirit it happens nothing. That the grace covered you. Now this is wrong. The Bible teaches that our flesh is the temple of the God. Amen. God sits in them. Praise Jesus. God sits in us. He sits in Your spirit is in Christ. Yes. But even the temple that you carry it, it has to be holy that pleases God. Amen. Amen. It has to be holy. So on your own power, you cannot be holy. There is enabling power. Today, before we proceed, I want you to ask God to give you the grace that enables you. You hate sin. How many of you call you a lot? By the time you remember, you, you remember that you, you fasted. You say, but God, you have mercy upon me. I've abused the man again. By the time you come again, you see that you have And it's when you declare three days of fasting. The grace is here. It can enable you. Amen. Amen. There are people who are hustling with habits. The habit of adultery. Of a masturbation. You cannot overcome it in one hour. There is grace that enables you to leave it. Amen. Amen. Here, there are people who used to be adulterers. But today they cannot. Amen. So, so ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, you, even the morning I told you, that us, we, can we, can marry, marry, uh, we can marry like we can marry like two and above wives. But there is grace that enables us. Amen. Amen. We are not standing on our own. We are standing because inside of there us is there is that ability that we believed to enable us. So don't wake up in the morning and tell me, me that the women put on ministers. You will not go to other nations. Because some nations in the time of summer in the time of summer, they move like when they are naked. Now will you move when you are covering your eyes? Pray for the grace to enable you. You overcome last time. Some of you sit in the temple. But every sister you marry her, tell God, give me the grace. Last to die. Amen. Amen. I told you in the morning if it wasn't the grace of the Lord that enables us we could also be marrying others. You get the first one, the second wife, the third wife. Amen. But because of the grace even if you feel like a thought, a evil thought then the grace comes. Amen. Amen. It says that for you are mine. I'm going to enable you. You will go through that. 
that wherever you go to minister that we shall move with our wives now pastor is not around but mommy is here amen so she will not say that every time he has to look at you whom are you with pastor Amen. But because the grace is here, even if it doesn't know it, he knows that there is the grace that enables her. And even Pastor where she is, he isn't on the phone always. Then he calls Pastor Esther. Whom is mommy conversing with? There is a man. How does he look? Hallelujah. Amen. We class the grace. It helps us to overcome sin. Even if you feel any wrong thought coming in you, that grace is there to anybody. Even you, you can pray. You tell him, God, rescue me from this habit. Amen. You abuse the man completely. You abuse him totally. Amen. Amen. You talk about the mukene and the flood that you bring. You, are, you talk about the trousers. What you are doing is wrong. You pray for the grace to enable you. You beat the children and leave them there. Amen. Pray for the grace to take away all that fear. Pray for the grace of forgiving to enable you to leave sin. Amen. How many of you are getting what I'm saying? Number two. That grace enables us. The first one we say. Enables us to live sin. The second one. This is so important. It. it enables us to pray. And fast. I want so much to pray. Maybe it's my sister Kathy who can testify. I was a leader of prayer in the church where I was. And they knew that I was Even prayerful. Even now I pray. But in my own power, I cannot pray. Many times I prepare to pray. Then I leave home. I say, let me go and sleep at church. I want to pray. You reach and pray. Eh? And uh, we reach and sleep. No and you attack the principalities. But when they are just coming back to you, Amina. Hallelujah. No sins, um, you worship. Nebigana. They fail. Now you, I was talking to Pastor and mommy, I was talking to her. Yesterday, I was so tired. And I, it's when I got this message. On Friday, we were at church. We had a main service. Then in the morning, I went in other things. In the evening, there was a meeting we had at, in Zoom. Then I said, after I'm going to sleep, I wake up at 3 and I pray. But I was going to sleep. But I failed. That one he was there. Amen. I felt the grace falling upon me. And I started praying. Up to 4 a.m. Up to 4 a.m. Then after I went home. So what do you think? The grace of this grace of God. It is fulfilled when we are written. In this that you cannot do. In what you don't know. You can do that come and enable me. You cannot pray as you ought. Romans 8.26 But the grace enables you. You get what I'm saying. Amen. Amen. Let me ask a question. How many of you had planned plan to fast? Even Alan is there. But by the time it's close at 10, you eat. You can be even a woman when you are children. You prepare for them, you save them today, so that they do not take the food. But at 9 to 30, you, you take the food. And then you put others. Then you say, let me take and I begin from there. I get what I'm saying. But at the time it clocks one, you say, let me eat, so that I fast in the evening. I've seen what I'm talking about. You reach in the evening, no, you, know, you eat it. and say, oh, let me just sleep without eating. But the end of burning grace, when it comes, by the time you do not you prepare, feel that you feel that the desire food isn't there. How many of you have I pray you for you for that in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord spoke to the prophet of this year, we are going to see great harvest. Now that great harvest is calling us into great, into great prayer. It's calling us into great fasting. You need the grace that enables you so that you can 
can fast. Man, you go to sober. Only power you cannot fast. Man, you go to sober. Only power you cannot pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. How many of you have ever prayed, but feeling that what you pray comes back to you? Feeling that what you pray comes back to you? You repent. How many of you have ever prayed? And you think that you have prayed for an hour. But by the time you, you see, you find that it's nine minutes. It has ever happened to me too. You pray for you that you have prayed for everything. Then you check on the phone. When it's 14 minutes, you say, oh Lord, <laughs> what am I doing? But when all the prayer is done, and there's when you come to pray, when you have something to pray for, then the Spirit takes you into prayer, and you pray for two hours, and when what you plan, you have not touched them, but when the grace is there of prayer, so that's what the enabling grace is. Amina. Amen. There is an enabling grace. We are not alone in the journey. Amen. Amen. If you are there, tell him that you are weak. Tell him that God enable me. Enable me. In the name of Jesus. And I declare those one who pray in the name of Jesus. Those who are going to pray for five hours. I declare a prayer warrior for this year. For the small thing you pray for that for five hours. When you feel that you are not prayed, you have prayed for five hours. Father, I pray for that anointing to the people. And I'm going to pray it for you. I'm going to pray for you. Because we want to see great things this year. The great vision. It calls upon great prayer. Because those prayer warriors that pray alone. I'll go back there as we wind up. How many of you want to pray? You pray a woman who is prayerful. A man who is prayerful. That the anointing dwelling upon you. Even the weak people smell it and run away from you. You know it's a prayer warrior that bathes those things. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray through that. But let's proceed. The first grace, it enables us to hate sin. And we hate all the evil. Number two, Romans 8.26 has said that you cannot pray as you owe. It enables us to pray no and fasting. Write another scripture. It is in Matthew chapter 26. I never gave this from 36. Matthew 26. From 36 up to down. Jesus got Peter and John and James and took them to pray together. But the grace had not yet come. Those who read the Bible, what happened? That the men slept. They even had dreams. By the time Jesus could come back, when men are busy sleeping, by the time he comes back, when they are still sleeping, but in Acts of Apostles chapter 2, when the grace descended from the upper room, when even Jesus was not in the flesh, this man no one used to tell them to pray. That they used to pray and the, the lunch could shake. Amen. Because Acts 4.31 Acts 4.31 The Bible said that when they pray that even the lunch should those people who used to sleep where are the abilities? It's the same Peter He's a Jew but there is something that fell upon him now it was enabling him to pray beyond his own Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. The point, the third point. Point number three. The third point. This another grace. All in the enabling grace. The enabling grace. It enables us to stand. In hard times. In, in, in hard times. In challenges. In hard situations. As a stone. Amen. Yes, Luke 22, 39. Up to 46. Luke 22, 39. Up to 46. I'm going to speak. Luke 22, verse 39. Up to 46. I'm going to go through here because he has to pray. As Jesus was going to climb the cross, Amen. he reached the time of praying this prayer. He said, Father, if it's possible, let me leave. Many times, you pastors, even the people we are working with, even you who is there, you wanted to give up. But what is making you give up? 
there is a challenge that is before you. So you are not the first person. When you read those scriptures, Jesus came and went into the uh, and these people did not but he told the God, oh, maybe, maybe I quit. Because I see that cross is hard. Mm -hmm. How many of you have ever read there? Oh, some people have the Bible teaches that the angel of the Lord came from heaven and heaven came and strengthened him. When he strengthened him, the one who was fearing, he said that this is come and we go. This is my hour. By the time they were coming out, of Judas, Judas and the people who came to arrest him, they said, Do whatever you have come to do. do. So, where did he get the ability? When he reached on the cross, he told those people that cry on your own. For me, what I'm going through, I've already done it. already got the strength to take me through this. this. How many of you are getting what I'm saying? This is the same Jesus saying that he goes, if it's possible, let me leave. In the other time, we see him saying that do whatever you want. Even you who are crying, crying for his soul, the grace that enables, it came and hovered upon him and he went through. Child of God, Tell your neighbor, look in the eyes. Tell him, never quit. Never leave your house. Never leave your children. Never give them out where they should not be. These times there is much of the the Though you are not feeding them, them but be with them because God is going to provide for you. Pray for the enabling grace. Do not quit ministry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see as this sun shines, even rain is going to happen. There is time of sunshine. And, but it doesn't declare it. It does think that it is strengthens. Are you getting me? When it shines, it is strengthening something. Where it was wet, it gets dry. And we do something from there. They, 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 they cross the cross get dry. But you, who, what you see as sunshine, what you see as fire, God is boiling something in you. God is bringing something from you. Some of you, what you see that is good. The one who is working is doing something. Pray for the enabling grace. Turn to your neighbor and tell him. Do not run away. Don't leave your home. Don't come out. Don't leave your responsibility. Some of you may be a leader in church. I've seen ministers in churches. For them, they do not want challenges. As long as they see a challenge, they dream. They get a dream that God has chased them away from them. But it's you who has chased them away. Pray for the enabling grace. You stand in the responsibility that God has given you. Ladies and gentlemen, for us we are not on our own. There is someone with us in the journey. Shadrach, Mishach, and Abednego. When they were in the furnace of fire, there is a man who joined the them. The consuming fire. No, there is none other fire that can be done I want to tell you that you are not alone. You are not alone. You have cried. You cried. But there is someone who has an hand. Open up for him to wipe away. Open him 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 for him to wipe away. In your own understanding, you are planning me something. Me. But maybe God sent me to you. Ask him and tell him any So that I go through Manga this. Because the time to come, there is glory. Later, there is good things. Amen. 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 Pa 16. Up to 18. The Bible teaches. 2 Corinthians 4, 16. Up to 18. That we should not leave. Though the outside man is perishing. But the inner man becomes new every time. Every time. Verse 17. The 17th verse. That our, uh, our suffering. Amen. Of just a little time. 
continues to make a, a powerful glory. 18 says that we do not look at the youth but for the unseen things. Glorious bride, God is Open up for the grace that enables the grace he wants to release. Amen. Amen. He has never failed to build that temple. He has never failed to give us grace. But he wants us to believe him from here. He has someone that he's building inside of you. He's building some engineers inside of us. Let me tell you. The work the, the great work on the, on the vehicle is not the house. They are the things that we do not see. Amen. And ingin takes much time. Even more than this no house. No Even the price is the one that Kati is expensive. So live alone this house. Yingin the other ingin is those ones that you are dreaming. Tell your neighbor that whatever you have ever dreamt of, whatever you have ever dreamt of, whatever you have ever dreamt of, or what you got through prophecy, the prophet that spoke to you was not a corner. Even God was not lying to you. There is something in you. Me that don't run away from fire. Listen. All the genos. All the genos. They are done in fire. All the genos. They are made in fire. This is not political. President Seven said that he went through fire. Maybe he never went through the but he said that I went through hard times. There is a, a tough times always make tough people. Let me say it again. Tough times make tough people. They make warriors. Amen. Amen. So whenever you run, you've ran away from glory. If Jesus never climbed the cross, we could not look for him. Amen. Amen. Look what your neighbor tell him. Don't fear. Stand. God is believing in you. Tell him, those who despise you, leave them alone. Your house despises you, leave them alone. God believes in you. You are anointed. You surrender to him so that he uses you. You are going to go through. 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 You surrender so that he enables you. Amen. Amen. Every mountain that you cannot manage, God has a four wheel. He has a four wheel of the spiritual where you see that you are sliding you ask for the four wheels is this grace is going to enable you in the name of Jesus what your eyes have never seen what your ears have never heard is preparing them before you he is not going to do the, the, those things of the background live along the history what they have spoken about you leave, put them behind those people on the computer have Garbage out. That garbage in, garbage, garbage out. 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 So leave alone some garbage. Look at the word of the Lord. There is the, the enabling grace. There is the enabling grace. There is the enabling grace. He's going to take you into your wedding. He's going to, to be, make you build at your home. Listen. Some of you are the Davids of your houses. That you are just the, the first the the person they have. have. They have not yet known you. Because you are in the factory. Amen. Amen. Soda the soda that you no take. When you reach where they make it from. You cannot drink it again. How many of you know what I'm no saying? If you see what it, the okay, process. Okay, you say that I'll never drink it Na again. Yebu ka but when you take it. You, see, process. you don't know that it's process. Amen. Amen. But whenever it goes ye through. Ye 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 it surrenders what makes it. And it takes it. It takes it. Until it goes into the bottle. They cover it. Then you buy it at a thousand. You say, oh, uh, it is so But when the process is rushed, it's a hallelujah. Say hallelujah. There is that enabling grace that the Lord is sending to us. That he is saying that we stand. The great things are before us. Praise the Lord. Second Corinthians. Chapter 12. From 7. 
Corinthians chapter 12 from 5 the Bible teaches that Paul went and cried he had a a problem he had a sickness that he never lived then the Lord said that my grace let it be sufficient let it enable you Amen. Amen. he told him this statement that my power is fulfilled into your witness God wants people saying that father we are not able but enable us Amen. Amen. God, I cannot, I'm not able to love people. How many of you know that people are not easy to be loved? People are not easy. People are not easy to be loved. But that grace enables us. So what God gives the, the pastors, He gives them the grace that enables them. You love this one. You do him good. Tomorrow the the news news that that the demons are there. By the time you hear it, then someone comes and says, Pastor, they are chasing me out of the house. So the fresh says, If the other one that we helped does, that did like that, Amen. Amen. But this grace that enables us, we still love you. We still love you. Hallelujah. Amen. It enables us to love. Let me tell you. People, people we are not easy to be loved. Some people are give me a gift. When you do not give him, you are not a friend. So for you here, you are good. But me, I've seen them. Some people are give me, I give you. Amen. Amen. So there are people Amen. that you have to love them as they are. Yes, Praise Jesus. Tell your neighbor as we wind up what you need today. The enabling grace that storm you see before you, God is going to use it. Amen. Amen. And he announces you where you have never And he announces you where you have never I have things I've seen. Some come as problems. For us, we, we, we talk with Pastor Yahweh. There are songs that raise up. But we package ourselves. Behind it, there is something coming. While by the time you look, you, when you come against it, you say something else. Amen. So I want you from today, that seat you are sitting in, every time, you declare this thing, that God, where I am, enable me, so that I benefit this church, enable me, to do what I'm supposed to do, enable me, enable me, to go, don't allow me to backslide, this threatens me a lot. There are people that we used to be with. They were waiting for when we will fail. There are people waiting for the day before you. They say we understood it. So whenever you remember, you like it to quit. Then I say so God enable me. So that there is a grace. Even if I feel like leaving, there are many times I speak from the camera. Pastors, we, leave, we need to quit. But when problems come from you, let me say it again. Many times we need to quit. And I've seen many people. Last year, I had where I'd gone to minister. There is a pastor in Ibuambo. Amen. Amen. We found a pastor. The pastor said that he found him selling the chairs of the church. He had quit them. Then the pastor said that, at least let's buy them. Do you remember? Amen. I'm speaking the truth. But he had never he had gave up. What makes us give up is not money. Is the spears we get from you. Say, but God, what do they appreciate? Let me leave them. Some of us, we had much knowledge. You say, I can even get something else. As long as they are not feeding me, I'm the one carrying them. The God don't I'm not the one who wants I'm not the one who wants to give them to someone else. 
Even God says, Even me as the young like that, and they are not mine too. They are yours. Then you ask for the grace that enables you. That's why you have to love your pastor. You have to pray for your pastor. Even the wife. You encourage them. They also feel good. When you send a message, when it's not announcing rent, you say, you are my angel. Since I came to you, Mama, Daddy, Dad, I'm so blessed. But every message that comes, Pastor, will I see you? That is the first one to take. The second one. I'm coming. I'm going through something. Says, oh, sorry. The fourth one. Oh, what should I get, tell you from here? The fourth one. Okay. Then another one. Pastor, I'm not understanding it. The name of the Lord is not to be big They are chasing him out of the house. I felt it to share it with you, Father. And I know God will enable you. Why don't you enable him to, and you listen to me? Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I get what I'm saying. The enabling grace. Appreciate your pastor. One who takes get a phone. Amen. Amen. Now you know he's praying. As they told us. Let him find your WhatsApp. Saying that pastor, we thank God. I don't tell you. I was going to give you a word. But appreciate you people. Because this grace. Amen. Amen. I want to pray with you. How many of you have understood this? Let me go back where I began from. We are sharing on the enabling grace. The first one we is the divine ability that enables us to do things beyond our understanding. Our, our understanding is The second one is saying there are different kinds of grace. We talked about the general grace that is hovering all the world that gives breath to everybody that gives the, the plants the Carbon dioxide. Amen. It gives everything. A dog gives birth to the What is uh, uh, what prison is not your it's not your mm -hmm. I watch animals. They shoot an animal. Back, give back them. Them. It it his children for them. Then he has said, God. They are in the bush. That is the grace I'm talking about. It gives animals everything. Amen. Amen. The grace that is the saving grace. That is what fell upon me. And I will go back to the world. There is the saving grace. That is what fell upon me. That is what fell upon me. Even who is going to get saved. There is the saving grace. So the third one. We talked about the enabling grace. So the third one. We talked about the enabling grace. About the enabling grace. And that is our theme of today. Why did I go back? I wanted to show you the different grace. Where does it find him? He finds him when he says. And before he pray, if you are in this place, you've not yet got saved. The grace is here. Grace is here. You can decide it today. You say, God, I decide to get saved and to live evil. If you want to get saved, in just a few minutes, you can raise your hand. You are in this place. You are not a born again. We are going to help you. You confess the words of salvation. You enter into a new world that has good life. If you want to get saved, you just wave at me. It isn't a shame. Totia. Don't feel. At this time, you are entering into the family of God. You are joining the family of heaven. Ask your neighbor, did you confess really? Or oh, you got saved in the region? Ask him. What has said? Wanji. Yaya to Levi Adara. Balo kolabo alan. Praise the Lord. I want you to cover your Bible. We want to ask for this grace. It's going to fall upon us. In the name of Jesus. 2023. Whether the devil likes it. All not. Pastors let me tell you whether the devil likes it or not the church is moving ahead. Amen. Amen. Whether he likes it let me tell you even if you are watching me and you bind what I preach 
Praise the Lord. You just repent. Because the Lord who began a good work is going to fulfill it. He's going to fulfill it. 